Hello guys, my name is Rob and welcome back for another episode here on my channel. Today I'm going to start off a brand new series. I know I've never finished up one of my series but this one I'm just willing to do that. And some of you guys ask me where I'm from and now I'm going to clear it out for you. I am from Belgium, I'm from a little town in Belgium, very near to the French border. And uh, I'm now with holidays, I've did all my work for school, I'm having holidays now, I'm, I'm enjoying it. And I think it's time for me. I was willing to make some new some new FIFA content for you guys. And I saw I had 22 subscribers. So that those are 22 people who are waiting for me to get a new video. And I hope my English will improve a little bit. Because it's been poor. I know it. But uh, hopefully it will improve over this series. And uh, if I make some mistakes, please correct me in the comments. I would like to be corrected. Certainly uh, if it makes sense to you. Uh, but good, so we'll start off today with a Huddersfield Town carry mode and I've moved them into the Premier League together with Brighton and Newcastle. I rearranged all the teams I showed I showed you in a middle in a minute, but first of all we'll have to check we'll have to choose a um a preseason tournament and I'm going to do this at the moment. Now we're going to we're going to take a look for which um one we're going to, to take a look at. Now let's find out which one might we take. We'll probably take the one with with the most money because we definitely need a lot of money. Because uh, I have checked, I've checked our funds, and it's not really that big. We really have to have a bit more money um, if we want to stay up in the Premier League. And these are, are our teams which we've gotten. We've gotten Belenenses from Portugal, Hercules Almelo from the Netherlands, and Fulham from the Championship, obviously. Now first of all, we'll have to check the board expectations. Now, can I take a look at it? We have important transfer market information. Yes, there are the board expectations. Let's check them. Now, they want to reach the stage of 32 in the FA Cup. They want to finish mid-table within the within uh, two seasons, and they want to avoid relegation because we are probably the worst team in the Premier League at the moment because of stats and plays we have. So we certainly have to invest a, a lot of money in this team. And I was thinking about the final financial takeover, but that might, might that might uh, make the series a lot less interesting, because it will be a tough task for me to get them into and to hold them in the Premier League definitely. And I saw that they have made it a signing, I guess two season, two two seasons, uh, two days ago, Laurent de Prater from from Porto, and that this this man w might be the first uh, I'm going to sign up. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to do that. But in real life. They probably had 20 million to spend. I guess I'm only having five or four. That's a bit ridiculous, but hopefully I'm able to do that. So financial, they want to keep the player salary growth under 15%, and they finish. They want to finish the season with two 2.5 million pounds unspent allocated funds. That might not happen certainly because we have to have a lot of new players which have to join up with us. Um, but it's been unbelievable that. Um, Huddersfield Town actually made it to the Premier League after about, I guess it was 45 years. It's unbelievable that this team... I was joking in the beginning of the season with a friend that uh, after after they've beaten that after they've beaten uh, Newcastle, yes, Huddersfield Town might get promoted and now they've actually done it. And uh, I guess they start the season against Crystal Palace. I'm not sure, or was it Brighton against Crystal Palace? No, it was Huddersfield. They'll travel to Crystal Palace. Uh, now let's take a look at the season. Who do we start in August? We start Man City away from home. Now Brighton start Man City in real life, I guess. Then we have Newcastle and Southampton. So, but that might be for the next episode. In this episode, I'm going to do a lot, hopefully, a lot of transfers. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Please leave a like. Please subscribe if you guys enjoy this kind of series with Huddersfield. And hopefully my English might improve as well, so you can uh, so you can understand what I'm saying. Uh, good, let's take a look at some transfers which might be very interesting. First of all, I'm going to take a look at my squad at the moment. Which kind of players I'll have, that's that's very interesting. Um, now, goalkeeper-wise, we are having four goalkeepers. This guy here, Danny Ward, but he's only on loan. So he's probably from another club. I don't know don't know that much about Huddersfield. So it um, I'll have to check everything about it. They have Joel Coleman, probably not going to use. Ryan Neider, and I have actually three poor goalkeepers. And this man, which is not good enough either, so I might bring in another goalkeeper. This might be the first thing I'll do. Um, as a right back, we have Tommy Schmidt and we have Martin Craney. He might be not good enough for the Premier League. He might be just good enough. Uh, Centre-back-wise, we have Hefele, we have Schindler. 
He recently arrived, or recently last season, arrived from 1816 Munich, who unfortunately got him down this season. That's a really, really, really big blow to my mind. One of the oldest clubs of Germany, 1860 Munich, are going to the third division. They've lost against Jans Regenborg. Unbelievable. Now, our centre-backs are very poor. I'll see some 53. Uh, so we have to have a new centre-back. We definitely have to have a new centre-back. Uh, we might improve this guy here by training, but this guy has to be sold. He, he's so old, I can't use him in the Premier League. Now, left-back, we have uh, Chris Lewe. We have Holmes Dennis, uh, we'll have Jason Davidson, but he's loaned out to Groningen. Uh, Jonathan Hock as a C CDM. Uh, we have Billing, a very young player. Then we have a very old man here, Whitehead as well. A couple of uh, 52 players. Uh, Kanucha as a right mid. Lowly as his replacement. Scannell as well. We have, oh, this man is very nice, but he's only alone. That's a bit unfortunate. Uh, called Aaron Mui. Uh, Kyle Dempsey is loaned out to Fleetwood. Hopefully he can improve because he might have a good potential somewhere in the 70s. Uh, La Para as a left mid. The same here for Harry Bunn. Brown, he's looking very interesting and showing great potential as well. So he might be one of our star key players. The same here for Cassie Palmer, which is only 19. So we have two impressive cam players. Uh, another one as well here, Jack Payne. As a striker, we have uh, Naki Wells, uh, Colin Kwana. And Frank Murrin, uh, Flo Borai, and Jordi Hewlai, which is uh, Hewula, which is a loan to Bradford. Now, it's not that good. It's definitely not that good, and we have to invest in a couple of, uh, of, of players. First of all, I'm going to take a look at the transfer targets, but they only are, they only are looking to strikers. That's so 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 stupid. I'm going to give them instructions. I'll have to have a goalkeeper. Um, definitely have to have a goalkeeper. Um, what do I have to have a center back and probably a center back? Uh, let's take a look. A center mid. We also need center mids. First of all, center back. Um, what kind of center back do we need? Uh, box to box, attack winded, pointed crosser. Maybe a aerial threat. Yeah, that's probably the most important thing we're searching for. And then the next thing which we are searching for is probably a midfielder. A uh, where is there a left midfielder, right midfielder? I'm not finding a winger. Defensive midfielder, yes, that's what we're looking for. And then a aerial threat because we will we will defend a lot in this uh, in this season in this series. And uh, yes, this might be it. But first of all, I'm going to take a look at Laurent de Poitre and take a look at how much he will cost us because I don't really have that much of money. I guess I only had seven million. I checked it um, just a, a minute before. Uh, let's find out how much he's worth. He's 27 years of age, he's at Porto, but he recently joined, yes. That's now the big problem with this, he recently joined, hopefully, we might loan him in then. That might be the only thing we can do, but we'll try to buy him first. He recently arrived for 5 million pounds, so he might be cost, he might cost 6 million or something, it might be, or, or a whole, uh, a whole budget, but, uh, yes. We'll find out what we can do with, first of all, I'm going to put some players in some training session. We definitely need a youth scout as well. I guess we need we need a youth scout. I'm going to hopefully loan out uh, some players as uh, well. So where are the, the the players I was searching for? Yes, there they are. Look at look at them. They're all having great potential. Palmer, all or uh, why do they have so many cams and so many great cams? We have a great CDM as well here, it looks like. Billing, I'm going to train him up. Mm. Save me for pain. So let's train him up as much as we can. Uh, goalkeeper. Oh, we can. Oh, we can train him. We might train him and then buy him after his loan spell. It might be an option for us to do. But I guess a 69 rated goalkeeper is just not good enough for the Premier League. So we might take a look. I'm sorry, at some better goalkeepers. I heard the only problem is that I don't really have the funds to bring one in on a permanent deal. So it might be one on loan. But we shall wait and see. Uh, first of all, we're going to put some players on the transfer list as well, so we might can make some money out of it. Uh, so we've loaned out some players, that's absolutely good. Uh, we'll take a look, who are we going to sell in this uh, in this uh, window? Um, I had some older players, yes, like him, Whitehead, let's add him to the list and hopefully, because he, he cost me a lot of funds as well, wages-wise. Um, maybe this guy, Grainy, don't really think I'll have to use him, maybe as a backup, but I don't really think 
he fits my bill, so let's put him on the list to get here with Hudson. Don't really need him anymore. Let's put Booty on a two-year loan uh, together with Kane on a two-year loan. Hopefully some players will come in. I'm not going to loan out him as I'm going to train him. And hopefully he will he will improve in a good striker. Let's uh, add him to a one-year loan. Uh, Bojai to a one-year loan. And then we have this guy. Hopefully he recently joined so I can't sell him. Let's add him to a one-year loan as well. Um, yes, yeah, so the players I was willing to sell are now on the list and hopefully I'll check some more transfers updates later But first of all, we're going to play this first match of the season here against Heracles from the Netherlands And we'll find out how good our team actually is Bruins, oh they have a through ball and they almost caught My goodness, we want to win this preseason tournament, we need the funds, we can't lose Certainly not in that way Oh no, they have a through ball here on the wing. That guy passed it. There's that guy, he passed it to another guy and he shot sends. My goalkeeper made a great save eventually. Brown, come on. You might start some attack from this. There's Vels. Oh, this is great. Now we'll have to finish it up in the bottom of the net and we can't. Oh my goodness, we'll have to take the corner. I thought we would score there. It was the perfect opportunity. Now it's our chance. There's the ball. It's a horrendous corner. But we'll have another one. It's now corner after corner. There's another one. There's Brown. But what did he do? He just let the ball fell over his head. There's Lerwe. We might cross it. Hook. What was he doing? He stood just in the wrong direction. But we ha still have the ball. There's Brown. And he lost it already. We've taken it. Good ball to Hawk. There's Brown. He goes past it. Brown with a shot, maybe. Brown! No! No, no, my bloody, bloody goodness. Another save by that goalkeeper. Corner. There it comes. The header, maybe, from Peterson, which is horrendous. Just past it. Mui from this. Oh, my goodness, we've hit in the crossbar. Unbelievable. From such a distance. Oh, what, what, what a hell of a shot was that. Oh no, 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 we've lost it in a bad position. There's that guy, I can't pronounce his name, Armentos or something. There's Bruins with a shot and it's Skies the bar. And it's the end of the first match of the season, it's only a nil-nil draw. It's, uh, it's poor the first match, it's very, very poor and we can't score, we can't create chances, so we'll have to do something about our squad and that's definitely making some chances. So I was been busy doing some transfers and I've put some uh, some doing some transfers. I was searching for some players and I've put some of them on the transfer list. So some of the players are what my scouts found, other players are what's what I've self what I found myself. So goalkeeper wise we have this guy, Gulashi, we have Andre Moreira, and we'll have Georgi Nikolic. So this one is from Basel, this room is from Atletico Madrid, and this room is from Germany, from Red Bulls Leipzig. I don't know how good he is at the moment. I don't. I don't think he. They, he is their starting goalkeeper, so I don't really know how good he is. Uh, he's um, Atletico Madrid fourth goalkeeper, so it might be good to to bring him in because I don't really think they need him. And he's. Um, I guess he is Basel's second goalkeeper, but he's very young. He's an exciting prospect. He got a huge potential. And I have another guy from uh, from Basel. This guy here, Omagaba. He's a right back. Uh, I get Gimbe from uh, Karlsruhe in Germany, Hofland from Germany, from Nuremberg, Philipp Zierreis from St. Pauli, Jean Salmier from Strasbourg, uh, Florentin Pogba, I don't know whether he's, he might be, it might be nice to have two Pogbas in the Premier League, I thought I found this guy called Pogba as well. He played, from Fran he played for France, I guess, as well in the Euro 2016 last season, he's his brother, and um, it might be good to, it might be nice as well to bring another Pogba into the Premier League, but I have the feeling he might be too expensive for us. Malcolm Kakatualue from Emilia Bielefeld, Diego Gonzalez from Atletico or uh, Sevilla Atletico is, his, uh, is the name, Manuel Akanyi from Basel, Blas Riveros from Basel, uh, Remuald Lacazette from 1816 Munich, uh, Ole Christian Selnas from uh, Ice Saint Etienne, Alexis Blen from Toulouse, Johannes Flum. Uh, from uh, St. Pauli, Jean-Brice Iteki from Atletico, um, 
What is it? Atletico Sevilla, Sevilla Atletico, something like that. Sergio Alvarez from Sporting Gijon, Siku Sonogo from Bern Young Boys, Alexis Allegri from Nantes, uh, Vincent Nogueira from uh, uh, Strasbourg, I guess, yes. Daniel Adlung from 1860 Munich, Jerome Gondor from Darmstadt, Denis Zakaria from Bern, Emeni Harid from Nantes, Caio Henrique from Atletico Madrid, Laurent de Prater from uh, Porto, and we have Ribemar from 1860 Munich, Lucas Hinteseer from FC Ingolstadt, Sasha Mulders from 1860 Munich, Jordan Hungel from uh, Preston, and Nicolas Schiapakasse from uh, Atletico Madrid. Those are the players I currently have on my list, and hopefully I can bring in some of them uh, during, this, uh, during this window. And uh, I might simulate the other matches here in the preseason tournament because I don't, I don't really like playing them, so I might simulate them. Uh, let's simulate the first one here against uh, Fulham. Let's hopefully win this match because they have won their first match. If you lose, you might be knocked out already. And uh, if you lose against the championship side, this is just be horrendous. And we do win actually, a 2-0 win, which is absolutely great. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not playing this kind of matches, but I'd rather do some transfers. Uh, now we can do a training session and I'll take a look what my, uh, my other uh, scouts actually brought for me. I'm going to take a look at that first. I'm not going to hire in a youth scout at the moment. I'm going to do that next season because I definitely need my money to bring in players at the moment. And you're never secure that a youth scout brings good players. Now our last match in the preseason tournament is for Belen S against Belenenses. Did they brought me something else here, the scouts? Yes, they brought me seven midfielders uh, in France. Uh, no, there's only midfielders I've scouted myself. Uh, defenders, they brought me five goalkeepers in Spain. Um, they have Perez as well from Mirandes. I don't really know whether these goalkeepers are good. Uh, he's Oh, he might be good, but he's actually on loan. Ah, that's a bit unfortunate. I'm going to add them to my list. Uh, those other ones are not really in my plans of using. Uh, they brought me this guy here. I'm going to add him to the shortlist. Wait, uh, how much he's worth. Uh, he will never be in my club, unfortunately. Jose Carlos is showing great potential. Although I don't really like using players with, uh, with no face. Uh, but I like to play some players that no one else is playing. So to freshen up uh, FIFA a little bit. Um, I hope you guys liked it as well that I'm going to bring in some players that probably no one else uh, uses. Uh, but we'll find out. David Rodriguez is a striker as well. His contract is expiring. Um, Juli is only on loan. I hate it when so many players are on loan. So I can't bring in really that many players. And in England, I found myself one centimeter, it seems like. Uh, Wardle from Barnsley, but not really my plans using. Um, Center back, they brought me a lot of center backs, but it's from lower division. Although this guy might be decent, Koch, the other ones not really searching forwards for it. Uh, this is a goalkeeper from Swansea, he's not looking the best. Definitely don't want to have goalkeepers from lower divisions. No, no, no. Uh, what did this guy brought me in Germany? Three goalkeepers. Uh, those are the ones I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm busy with um, scouting. So hopefully uh, I can do a transfer in this episode because we've been busy for a long time now. Still no transfers coming in. Now we have five emails and those are scout reports. I'm going to take a look at them. Uh, Nicolas Chiapacasi currently is 62 rated. Um, not that bad. Caio Henrique currently is 66 rated. So that's hopefully... I don't really think we need a cam. I definitely need a winger. So I'll hope. I can bring him in on a permanent deal, but he's recently joined. Now, what can we do? He's only on 4.6. We might loan him in. I'll do a two-year loan. Why not? Do a two-year loan, and after his loan spell, I can uh, bring him in permanently, hopefully. Because I know he's been a very good player. No one, I guess, in carry modes used him, so it's been an another player. Andre Moreira currently is 70 rated. That's interesting. His loan, are, are we able to buy him? Uh, have to offer between 190 and 2.2. Uh, he might be a very good goalkeeper, that's the truth. And he's on 14k wages, that's not that big either. 
So I'll try 1.9, I'll try 1.8 at first. I don't think Atleti will accept that, but we definitely need a goalkeeper uh, with, a, uh, with some potential. Uh, who was the next player who was uh, going back? No, I only had three scouting reports coming back. And Boyai wants to make a request, but I'm sorry, you're not in my plans using you in the Premier League. Now, our last match of the preseason tournament is against a Belenenses from Portugal. Let's hope we'll win this match. It's definitely a... It's a on paper a home match but it's only a draw and Brown got injured let's hope it's not a long time uh, a long term injury uh, why why do we have an injury why 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 let's take a look at the injury where is it I guess it's with squat and then kit numbers uh, injury list he's out for three weeks yeah absolutely fine I hope he comes back just before the Premier League begins um, I will have to use someone else in his position. We'll have three emails. Transfer for here for Luke Coddington. Let's accept this. He can go to Shrewsbury on a one-year loan. Uh, and we have an... No, I thought we had a response from, from Atletico Madrid, but they didn't respond me in... We have eight emails coming our way. Alvarez, what is... How is he? He's 77 rated. He's on very cheap wages. The problem is we can't... We can't bring him in because he's so uh, he costs so much. Uh, Diego Gonzalez, uh, he's 72 rated. We have to do an offer for him because we have to bring in a centre back. They were willing to have three billion for it. Are you absolutely crazy? Let's try 2.8. He's very he's an exciting prospect, Diego Gonzalez, and I guess he can do very well at our club. Who is the next player? That is Brice Iteki. He is 68 rated, but he might improve. He's only on 1.9k wages, so this deal looks like it might happen. Let's try 1 million. They probably will reject it and they will ask for more. But uh, Iteki is an exciting prospect, it seems like. Uh, who is the next player on my list? That's George Hungel from Preston. He's 68 rated, so I don't think at the age of 24 I'll need him, so I'm going to remove you. Transfer offer for Mark Hudson. Let's accept this to Burton Albion. I'm going to ask for one uh, for 200k. They probably will accept this straight away here. Burton Albion in League Championship currently is sitting. Yes, they are. Atletico Madrid accepted the 1.8, which is absolutely perfect. He wants five, four years. Going to give him important first team player. And now will bring himself in a very good goalkeeper. Uh, and a few scenes obviously and they accepted the loan deal as well here for Nicolas Chiapacase I'm going to train him train him train him train him until he got something like 75 rated or something and then I hopefully I'll bring him in on a permanent deal now we have a match against Piscara which I'll have to to simulate and I have to do another um, I have to do a change in the squad because Brown is injured, unfortunately. Um, so Chapacasa Chapacase is now officially a Huddersfield Town player. Now I still have to wait about that Laurent de Poitre deal, but I might just only loan him in for the first season because uh, I don't really have the funds to bring him in permanently. It's not like real life. It's very very unfortunate. Hopefully we'll win this, and we do. We do win against Pescara by one goal to nil. And we have now the finals against a Sevilla Atletico. That's a team where I'm willing to bring in a few players off. Now, let's do one more training session. And we got some growth by some players. Mulhern, Billing, Payne. I have to bring in Chepakasi as well here. He's only 17, so he has... He can grow a lot. Now we have a few emails coming back our way. Nine plus emails. Uh, Kakutualua is 68 rated. He's on only a few amount of wages we might just do an offer for him uh, but he's recently joined that's a bit unfortunate so we can't go for him at the moment might do it in january jerome gondorf he is 75 rated his contract is expiring so we might bring him in for 1.3 let's i let's ask it that's just a very 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 cheeky offer i guess we've, we've gotten two million pounds uh, to reach the final of the preseason tournaments. Then we have Johannes Flum. He is 72 rated. He is on 1.4, but he's at the club since 2017, so probably not willing to move. Oh no, actually, I can bring him in. He's willing to have 1.6. Let's try 1.2. Let's hope uh, Sankt Pauli will accept this 1.2 for Johannes Flum. I don't think they will, but there might be a chance. The next player is Daniel Adlung. 
He's been at the club, he's 69 rated, and he only will go down, I have a feeling. So, no Daniel Adler, I'm sorry, no Daniel Adler and my team. Shasha Mulders is a striker, 71 rated. No, I'm sorry, not good enough. Lucas Hinterseer, he is a good player, it seems like. He is, his contract is expiring as well, so we buy bringing all these players in January, but at the moment they can't sell him because they are short. They don't have that many strikers at the club, so I'm sorry, I'll have to bring him in in January. Uh, Ribemar is 68 rated, but he's 19 years of age. Um, he got a great potential. We'll try it. We'll try to bring him in. He, but he recently joined. Are you just bloody kidding? Ah, uh, my bloody goodness. Can't bring him in at the moment. Rumelard Lacazette. He's 66 rated. He's showing great potential. Oh, don't say he's recently joined. No, he isn't. Let's try 400k, that's very very cheeky, but his contract, says his contract is expiring and he's having, he's having a potential, if I'm not wrong, of 75, so he might be a good player in the future. Gulashi is the next one, he's a goalkeeper, he's 74 rated, but we have brought in another one, another goalkeeper, I don't know how much they're winning for it. It might happen, he's an important first team player, but they say it might happen, let's try 1.25. Because if I bring him in above the Real, the Atletico Madrid goalkeeper, I'm definitely going to bring him in because he's higher rated. Now, Philip Zirais is the next player. He's 73 rated, but he's on 9. Uh, I don't think a 71 rated centre back is just, I don't think, just not good enough. Hufland, he is 68 rated. No, definitely not good enough. And then we have Gimba. Gimba is 62 rated, but he's only 19. But let's wait a bit with him. Then we have unacceptable. They want 4.3 for Diego Gonzalez. Are you bloody kidding? Can't afford that. Let's try 3.2. Uh, Let's totally accept that 4.3. But his wages are very, very low. That's why I like it. They accepted. Uh, Burton Albion accepted the offer. Andre Moreira. Accepted the offer as well. I'm going to wait a little bit. Should I wait or should I accept it? I wait a little bit uh, And after a few days Either oh, we've got a scouting report from Laurent de Protre. He is 75 rated. Uh, let's try to loan him in uh, Let's try a two-year loan because he's a squad rotation player They might accept this and I don't have the funds to bring him in because he's, he's worth 3.3 and he recently joined for 3.5 or something. Um, yes, we'll uh, advance a little bit. And if the other goalkeeper is not responding to me, I'm going to bring in the other goalkeeper. It's unacceptable for a Tiki, they want 2.0. Uh, I'm going to offer 1.3, his value. We have to bring in some plays like that to strengthen the squad. We definitely have to. Now we have Sevilla Atletico. That's the squad, yes. Uh, have we brought in a player already? We only have one, and that's Chiapa Kasse. Let's put him on the bench for maybe Lowly. And I don't need a second goalkeeper, probably. So let's put Lowly back on. Uh, and let's find out. Hopefully, we will be able to win against Sevilla Atletico. But they have some better players than us. Uh, that's a bit unfortunate. I don't know whether they are the second team from Sevilla or not, but... They're having a lot of youth players, so it might happen. It's unfortunately away from home, so we might lose this. And we win, actually, on penalties. Uh, that's absolutely incredible. After coming behind twice, we've won it on penalties. I'm absolutely happy with that. Now, we'll have seven emails in our off. Uh, seven emails, some scouting reports as well. So, Marcelli. He is 65 rated, don't really think he's been good enough for our club. Dennis Zakaria is 72 rated, he, is, he seems like a very good player. Let's try to do an offer for him, uh, although he might be very expensive at the moment. They want 4.5, let's try 3.6, that's his value. I got it, we don't have that much money, I really got it. Um, now, the next player which we might bring in is Sonogo. Sonogo is 70 rated. He might be, yeah, he he might be gettable. Let's try for Sonogo 1 million. He's 27, 70 rated. This might happen. Now, the next player in our list is Riveros, Blas Riveros. 
Uh, he's 65 rated. Let's wait a little bit with him. Don't think we need a 65 rated player at the moment. Garba is 69 rated. This is this is something which might. But he's recently joined. My bloody goodness. We'll have to loan him in then. Let's try to loan him in for two years. He's only on 10.5k at the moment. He's a squad rotation player. Let's hope. Oh, that's actually quite expensive. 9.5. Uh, George Nikolic. He's 65 rated. So I guess we'd better go for the other goalkeeper then. Um, then we have Manuel Akanji. He is 67 rated. He's showing a great potential. And he recently uh, signed a new contract. We'll try 1.5. Let's hope Basel accept this for Manuel Akanji. Uh, then we have... Who is the next player on our list? That is... Alexis Blin. Alexis Blin is 75 rated. He's way too expensive at the moment. Can't bring him in. Sell nice. He is 73 rated. Well, I have the feeling this might happen. Don't think. Don't say he's recently joined. No, but he recently accepted a new contract. Let's try 3 million for him. It's a squad rotation player, so it might happen. Uh, a very young player, exciting prospect probably as well. Uh, Florentin Pogba, he is 77 rated, he's too expensive, because if we want to bring him in, we can't bring in another man. Uh, John Salmia, he is 63 rated, this might happen, his contract is expiring as well. We might bring him in just for free, as he's 23 rated, so we'll try to bring him in for free then. Uh, Nogueira, he is 72 rated, he recently joined, but I'll try to... Bring him in for 2 million then, as he's recently joined. 72 rated, he's looking very cheap for a 72 rated player, so this might happen. Uh, Harit, Harit is 71 rated, uh, he's showing a great potential. He's. Is he on loan? Don't know if we might loan him in, as we don't really have the funds. Uh, he's a squad rotation player, let's try to loan him in for two seasons. I mean, Harit. Then the next player which we have is Alexis Alegi. Alege is 62 rate. No, not willing to have you then. Uh, then uh, offer rejected. We're not looking to loan the Prasra out at this time. This is uh, very unfortunate. Uh, it's unacceptable from Leipzig. They want 5 million. No, no, no. I don't want to give 5 million. Rejected, rejected, accepted. And it's accepted. It's absolutely perfect. Uh, they want 4.3, give him 4 years, an important first team player as he will be. Some things are rejected for Gondorf. Uh, Gondorf, they want probably a bit more money than 1.3. His contract is expiring, oh no, he's not expiring. Uh, let's try for 2 million then. They're probably going to ask for a ridiculous amount, like 5 million or something. Uh, then, uh, Lacazette, how much do they want for him? Uh, probably more than that, let's try 700 he's only worth 675,000 so if they accept this where is the goalkeeper now where is he I'm going to accept it so Andre Moreira is our first signing of the season he's our goalkeeper he's joining us he's a 70 rated goalkeeper he has a lot of potential to grow and now we'll still have some time to make some transfers it's unacceptable from St. Pauli. It's accepted from Atleto, Atletico Sevilla. So we might bring in two players from them. And they are very, very, very good youngsters. Let's give him a squad rotation play to start off the season. John Priest, it takes 68 rated at the age of, uh, uh, at the age of 18. Uh, it's unacceptable from... What is it? Huddersfield? No, that's not Huddersfield. What do I say? I'm Huddersfield. They won 2.4 for Johannes Flum. Let's try 1.6. I just don't want to overspend. We're not the biggest club. We're not Man City or something who having a certain amount of money. We only have a few. A bit. We, have only, we only have a bit of money. So we have to do well with our money then. Uh, also in talks with uh, Young Boys have received a 1.3 for Sonogo. Uh, 1.3. Oh my goodness. He might go to someone else. Well, let's try. I can't, I can't. He might go to somewhere else. Where is he? Sonogo, Sonogo. Let's do another transfer off a of one point. <laughs> it might be so sneaky, but let's do 1.301. It might happen. It might happen. Let's let's try it. Let's try it. it, it uh, 
Let's try it and hopefully it happens. We have seven emails. The loan is accepted here. So he's going to loan us Ermin Harit. Welcome to the club. Welcome to Huddersfield Town. Uh, something is rejected. It's from Strasbourg. We can't accept this because he's not available. He's recently joined. Uh, unacceptable from Basel. They want 2.4 for Manuel Akanji. I offered 1.5. They want 2. Uh, let's try 1.8 and for Manuel Akanji. Um, who was the next player? That is 1860 Munich. Unacceptable for Lacazette. They want 1 million. Are they bloody crazy? I want to give them 800, but that's the last bit I'm wanting to give him. I want to give him because he only has one year left on his contract. Darmstadt rejected it because he's too. Uh, they probably want to have an awful lot of ma an awful lot of money for him. Uh, let's try uh, three million then for Jerome Gondorf from Darmstadt. Um, who is the next player? That's Gonzalez. He he, he declined his contract. He wants to have a bigger role. Let's try crucial for uh, and his wages are very. It just it's laughable his wages. 4.3 at the Premier League. That's like a bargain. Unbelievable. I don't believe how they only have such low wages in Spain. Now unacceptable from Saint Etienne. They want 5.5. For, uh, they want five, I'm sorry, for this man. Um, let's try 3.8 for Christian Sal Nice. Don't know whether it might happen or not. Then we have uh, rejected the loan offer for Garber. Not looking to loan Garber out this time. A bit unfortunate. They accepted the 3.6 for Zakaria. Absolutely fine. It's only his value. So we'll bring ourselves in a very, very, very good player. A exciting prospect. I'm happy they, they they say we're willing to accept this. So if we bring in Danny Zakari, don't we need another uh, midfielder? I guess they accepted the 1.6 for Flum as well. Uh, they want 15k, two years, and I'm going to give him important first team player as a CDM, Johannes Flum. And what do we have? It is uh, Sonogo 1.2, uh, but they might just still accept the 1.301. That we have bidden because that's the highest bid, and they accepted the 1.301. Are you bloody? <laughs> it's unbelievable. He wants 15k uh, a week, uh, three years, and I'm going to give him a important first team player, Siku Sunogo. And uh, they declined it. They want to have a bigger role. I'm going to give him important then uh, four years and what he's willing. That's an absolute bargain as well. Two five hundred and uh, two. Uh, 550, that's an absolute bargain again, Jan Bryce Uh But if I can bring him in for such a low offer, why just wouldn't I? Now, let's advance. Transfer accepted from Basel, accepted from Darmstadt and accepted from Gonzalez. First of all, I'm going to accept Gonzalez to my squad. Brelkem, that's our next signing we've made, Diego Gonzalez. And uh, Basel accepted a 1.8 for Alcani, he's willing 10k. Um, four years and going to give him squad rotation. Let's hope he'll accept this because it's a bigger role as he's having at the moment. Um, Basel and Darmstadt accepted it as well. 3.0 for Gondorf. Uh, he's only one willing to have nine. Uh, two years and let's give him crucial because he will be crucial. The 75 rated centimeter. Something we definitely need, but we can't bring in Bowen, unfortunately. We'll first have to check whether the man from, uh, from was it, Burn accepted the contract or not. Unacceptable, we won't go for him. And it's accepted for Lacazette, that's absolutely perfect. Five million and four years, and we give him squad rotation player at our club. And then we'll have... Uh, Johannes Flum accepting the contact as well. Do we need him? Otherwise, we don't have money anymore. That's something difficult. I stall it for a little bit. I'm going to wait for the man from um, what was it? From Switzerland first to respond. We have five emails and it's transfer for White Whithat. Yes, that's his name. Let's try for 200 for Nottingham Forest because it gives me a lot more wages than. Uh, it's accepted from Sonogo, it's accepted from Zakaria, it's accepted from Iteki. First we're going to accept Zakaria, that's absolutely perfect. That's a one hell of a signing, absolutely. He's 72 radio at the age of 19. 
absolutely fine. So Nogo can't accept you. We can't accept him. And we'll can do it if we don't have money left. I'll have the feeling. No, we don't have money left, so I can't accept him. And uh, I can't accept uh, Sonogo either. We don't have money at the moment to do anything else. So I'll have to reject everything we've done. I guess we've, we've had a, a good window. We only have to bring in a striker on loan now because we'll have in midfield we do have good players like we do have Iteki, uh, we have Gonzalez, Zakara. It's definitely Zakara. He might be a very, very, very good player. Let's put Gonzalez in the back. Together with Schindler, they are our two centre backs. Uh, we have a new goalkeeper as well. We have Moreira as a goalkeeper now, and our team looks a bit more solid than it was uh, before. We have Zakaria as well, which we can put on the bench, uh, and we'll have uh, Iteki as well, a very, 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 very solid and good player. Guess as Mui will go uh, away. Probably at the end of the season we'll have replacements for him and that is Iteki. And we have Harit as well. A very, uh, can he play as a striker? Uh, no, unfortunately he can't. Can Iteki? No, he can't unfortunately. Uh, so we definitely have to bring in a striker on loan. Yeah, there it is, Bremen. Eggestein, he's a striker. Yeah, they still have him. He's loan listed and I don't know how much he's willing. He's only on 3.8, absolutely perfect. I'm going to go for Johannes Eggestein. Yeah, there it is. It's accepted from Werder Bremen. It's accepted from City as well. Uh, oh my goodness, they're not willing to bring him in. Lacazette accepted it as well, but I fortunately just can't uh, bring him in. We don't have the money. I've, uh, I've made the signings, I'll have to. So no Cherry Ambrose at our club, but we'll bring in this guy here. Johannes Eggestein, he will be our second, our second striker at our club. Johannes Eggestein, he's going to be here for like two seasons. Hopefully you guys appreciate what I'm doing for you guys and hopefully you guys like this kind of series, this new kind of series I'm going to make, which is the um, Huddersfield carry mode in the Premier League. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.